Hey, one thing I'll get out of the way right away is down in the lower right corner, it does say activate Windows, which Windows was activated on this machine. And I swapped the processor out and now Windows thinks I've installed Windows on a different machine because I swapped out the processor for a different one. So if anyone wants to comment on that, that is why it's asked me to activate Windows in the lower right corner. Now with that out of the way, on to the video. Hey Michael with X-Force PC, this may sound like a dumb video, but this is how to update your NVIDIA drivers. And the reason I'm making this video is after listening to Ken spend 15 minutes or more on the computer, excuse me, on the phone, talking someone through downloading their NVIDIA drivers, uh, that time has really started to add up. And it's clear that maybe it's not as easy to do as I think it is. So to download the latest NVIDIA drivers, uh, there's two ways. You can just go download the drivers from NVIDIA.com, but you got to know what kind of graphics card you have. Or you can use the GeForce Experience, so we'll talk about both. The first is to download it from NVIDIA.com, and the question, how do you spell NVIDIA, and all that stuff. So anyway, if you're going to download it from NVIDIA.com, you need to know what kind of graphics card you have. There's many ways to find that out. I would go down to the Start button, right-click on the Start button, this works in 10 or 11, and choose Device Manager. Once in Device Manager, you can expand where it says Display Adapters, and you'll see here I have an RTX 3080, 3080. So then I can go and I can open up my browser and go to uh, NVIDIA. Dot com. That's spelled N as in Nancy, V as in Victor, I as in India, D as in dog, I as in India, and A as in Apple. NVIDIA.com. I then go over here where it says drivers at the top, and I choose, of course, GeForce. I have an RTX 30 series. I have a 3080 and I have Windows 11, and I hit search. It tells me this driver came out on December 8th. I click download, and then I think you have to download again, download again, and then it starts downloading, and then you simply run or launch or whatever you want to call it, you know, to execute this program, and just hit next, 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 and it will update your NVIDIA drivers. Now there's another way to do it. Um, some people would argue they like doing it this the way I just showed you. Some would say they like doing it the other way. You can launch the GeForce Experience. So you can right click on this NVIDIA icon that's down here. It may be you know here or it may be right here and go to GeForce Experience. Or you could go down to the start, excuse me, search box and type NVIDIA in and then click on NVIDIA, uh, excuse me, GeForce Experience and open it up. And then right here you see drivers. I click on that and it says that I have a game ready driver ready to download. Release date December 8th, 2022. And I just hit download. When it's done downloading, I simply hit um, whatever the link says or the, the the thing here says, which I believe it'll say, uh, express install is what you want. This is a pretty fast download, so I'll go ahead and stick with it until the end. But it should be a choice for express install, and that will simply install it without asking you a whole lot of questions. And that's what I would recommend doing. And looks like it's actually just going to go ahead and do it. So there you go. Oh, there we go. Express installation, or you can do custom. There's no need to do custom. Just hit express and it will update your NVIDIA drivers. So that's what you do to update your NVIDIA drivers. Uh, I showed you two ways and hopefully you don't have any trouble.